there, TRW Crew, Matt Vassallo here with the rhinestoneworld.com. So in this tutorial video today, we're going to take you the complete process of creating a heat transfer vinyl shirt. So as you know, we're the rhinestone world, but we don't do just rhinestones. We have everything from your heat transfer vinyls to any different types of materials that you may need to be able to create shirts for the men, the boys, the youth as well. So what I'm going to do today is... We have one of the fluorescent, um, this is actually a badger shirt that we're using here today, one of the fluorescent dry fit. The fluorescents are the new craze right now. My son Jackson, who's six years old, everything has to be fluorescent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make Jackson happy. We're going to make a shirt for him, but I'm going to make you guys happy too because I'm going to show you exactly how to do the complete process from in Corel draw, sending it to your cutter, weeding it, pressing it, and showing your finished product here. So. The materials we're using today, again, we have the Badger Dry Fit Fluorescent Green Shirt. We're going to use the Silver Lens Heat Transfer Vinyl that we have available on the website. And then we're going to use the Black Easy Weed Heat Transfer Vinyl that we also have available on the website. The cutter we're going to use here today is our XGCC Expert 24, 24 inch cutter. And then that, again, we'll have available on the website with our sticky plot template material we don't have to use any of that because we're using all heat transfer vinyl cutter we're using today we have our red press here 15 by 15 red press available on the website therhinestoneworld.com so all of the materials and again we're using because it's the thinner material we're going to use the 45 degree blade so 65 degree blade is for your glitters and your sticky flock 45 degree blade is for your thinner materials like our fdc sign vinyl our easy weeds and any of our thinner material that we sell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, we're going to go over to the computer here and Corel Draw and the TRW Stone Wizard. I'm going to show you how to get the file set up. The file we're doing right here, the chicks dig the long ball design. So he's big into baseball right now. I figured I'd make him a cool baseball shirt to be able to wear. So I'm going to head over to the computer here. We're going to get into Corel Draw, show you how to set this up, bring it into Great Cuts, which is this cutting software for the GCC cutter show you how to send it over, show you the cutting process. We'll get into the weeding, the pressing, everything else. So let's go ahead and head over to the computer here, show you how to get this file set up. All right, so we're over here in CorelDRAW. We're using CorelDRAW version X6, our 64-bit version. You can see our design right here, the TRW Stone Wizard right here. So as you can see, you're just seeing the design right here. If you purchase this design on our website, it's gonna be all color separated for you already, but I wanna show you that process just in case you're working on your own design. Highlight the design, go to templates, create magic templates, and you're done. Pretty tough process, huh? So let's go ahead and highlight this, and I'm going to hit mirror horizontally. Anytime you're working with your heat transfer vinyls, you want to mirror it. And now for the black easy weed, we're going to use this chicks dig the long ball, the wording part of it. We'll use the silver lens for the player here. So I'm just going to highlight this. I'm going to hit control C as in cat, go to great cuts, control V as in victor, and paste it in. If I hit A as an apple, it's gonna rotate it. Okay, so we're all good there. Drop it down to the corner right here. Let's go ahead and hit cut objects. Now we're gonna choose our GCC Expert 24. Our pressure, we're gonna get our pressure down around 50 for our pressure, and speed will do 60. We want to read our material. So before, obviously, we re read our material, we need to get over here to the cutter, load our black easy weed into the cutter to get ready to cut. All right, we're, so we're over here at our Expert 24 cutter here. We got our black easy weed. As you can see, when the roll comes to you when you purchase it, you'll see it like this. You'll see kind of a dull backing. That's the part you're going to actually cut, and it's going to be mirrored. And then the back side is where it has the carrier sheet or where you're going to actually heat press it. So... Let's bring it to the back of the cutter here, and let's go ahead and feed it through. Make sure, obviously, your pinch rollers are up. So with the Expert 24, you got your two pinch rollers and then your middle one just to help keep it down right there. Now, you'll see our white areas here. That's where our grid rollers are. So you always have to have your pinch rollers on one of these white areas or else it's not going to cut for you. So let's feed it down. We have our little grid areas here to help us line it up as we're lining it up perfect there all right so we're looking good let's go ahead and drop our pinch rollers down this right here is just going to stay in the middle that's going to keep it from kind of bubbling up in the middle there and let's go ahead and turn our machine on and once we turn it on here it's going to run through its settings real quick
As in real quick, I mean not too quick, but it wants to read it pretty precise. All right, so we're all set up here. It's got all of our settings red. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go offline. And you can feed it up or down depending on what you want. So I started a little cut on this already. So I have existing cuts on this, so I fed it down to the bottom there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my origin set. So I set my origin and then I'm gonna click online. So now I'm ready to go ahead and cut. And again, remember we're using the 45 degree blade for this cut. So we're back over here on Corel Draw. We got our pressure set at 50, our speed set at 60. We don't need stack spacing on. And we are going to go ahead and read our material. So you can see our material length was the full roll and we're 12.6 inches wide, which is plenty for our design here, which is only 11.1 .1 inches. So let's go ahead and output and we are ready to cut. So you can see it running through the design here pretty easy. It looks like if anything, we might have a little bit too much pressure. You can see if it tries to bubble up a little bit at all, that normally means you have a little bit too much pressure, but as long as it's not cutting all the way through the material, you should be fine. All right, so we just finished our cut. We're gonna go ahead and trim this off. So I'm just going to go offline, feed this down a little bit. trim this here. We can go ahead and trim it from our other cuts earlier here. So we still have these to weed later. And we can go ahead and show you the weeding process on this one real quick. And actually what we'll do is we'll cut the silver lens first and then weed both of them at the same time for you. So let's go ahead while we're over here, let's go ahead and lift these up and load up our silver lens to get that ready for our cut. So we can just send it over once we get over to our computer here. All right, so same thing. We just want to make sure that you're on your pen rollers. I'm using my areas right here to get it nice and lined up. We should be good there. Let's go ahead and drop my pen rollers down. Looking perfect there. I'm going to feed it up to the top a little bit. Move it in a tiny bit just so we're not losing any material here. We're looking good right there. I'm going to set my origin and then I'm going to turn it online. So let's head back on over to the computer here and get this second cut going. All right, so we're back over to Corel Draw here, and our second cut is the actual player swinging here. So again, Control C for copy, over to Great Cuts, delete this one out. Control V as in Victor for paste. A as in Apple to rotate it, drop it down into the corner. Click on our cut menu, all the same cut settings. Go ahead and read our material again because we did change it around, remember? And then we're gonna go ahead and output All right, so now we can see our silver lens cutting here. It's going to be a quick cut because it's just the baseball player. And technically, if we really wanted to save some material here, we didn't have to cut out this full box because it would have been pretty easy to layer this baseball player into the design since it fits perfect. But we just did the full cut just to show you the process. What I would normally do is probably just cut out the baseball player here, and then we would have all this material to use on a later project. So let's go ahead and offline, zoom it out here, trim that out, and now we're going to show you the weeding process of this. All right, so we're over here, we got our black easy weed, we got our silver lens heat transfer vinyl, let's go ahead and get these weeded here. So I'm just using an X-Acto knife, I can pull from the edge here, and with the, e the great thing about the easy weed is it's easy to weed. So you'll see how easy this process is here. You don't really have to pay a whole lot of attention to, to what you're grabbing off of this just because the way that it's set up and the way that this material is, it's pretty easy to go ahead and get it out. If you do have any real small areas, you'll want to pay a little bit more attention to it, especially like here in this bat and the baseball part here with the flames. So what I'm going to do on the inside of these flames here and just pull that part off pretty easy there and start it in here main thing you don't want to do is just rip different parts so if it's a groove that's going against it you just want to be a little bit more careful but you can see how easy that got that part there for us and then once you get to these bigger letters you can 
basically just rip it apart and they're going to be fine. And if your material rips as you're pulling it off, that's no problem. As you can see, I'll, I'll purposely rip this here and it's not going to affect your actual design at all. These are pretty big letters, so they're going to be very simple. If you do have very fine print, um, you're getting down into a quarter inch, half inch with the Easy Weed. You want to be a little bit more careful, but with this right here, I know we're going to be perfectly fine. Good, good. Let's get the inside of all these letters here. Inside of this B for ball. There we go. Inside of the G here. And we got the inside of the O to go here. And I think we were all good with this part of the dime. Uh oh, we got the top of that H right there. What I always recommend is turning it over, reading it just to make sure that you didn't miss anything. So you can see our chicks dig the long ball design there. We're looking all good on that part of it. So let's go ahead and move to our silver lens. Now the silver lens is going to be very easy here because it's just that baseball player. So again, with the baseball player, the only part I would even think about worrying about at all is the back coming off the back. So you can see how easy that was to weed right there. And this is where I'm talking about all this extra material right here. We could have saved that if we were thinking ahead and did that design to where we were just going to layer it in. Because what I'm actually going to do is either way, I'm just going to trim it like this anyway because I know how easy that's going to be to layer once we get to the shirt. So we trim that out there. Let's go ahead and trim this one out here. All right, so we got our two designs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring these over to our heat press here. Go ahead and get these pressed, and we are completely done with this shirt. All right, so we're over here at our press. We're going to go ahead and get our design set up here. So we have our protective cover sheets. And go ahead and drop our design down here, and I'm going to do a quick pre-press on it just to get out any wrinkles, get out any moisture in the shirt. Now I'm at a light to medium pressure here, nothing bad. And I'm at about 308, 310 degrees, depending on the cutter and the material. And I'm, and I'm gonna be pretty quick as far as our time involved with it, just because I can hit this for about three to four seconds and then go to the second color of the design. So I got the baseball going right up to the seam up there, as you can see. So I don't want it directly on that seam but very close to it. And I would say we're looking pretty good right there. Let's see, armpits are right here. So yeah, I would say that's looking pretty nice right there. Let's go ahead and hit this. Now it's, again, it shifted a little bit to the left, not much, but I don't really want the baseball to be right on that seam. So I'm fine with that. So. Chicks dig the long ball. Let's go ahead and hit this for a couple seconds. Again, I'm only going to hit this for about two or three seconds here. And up. Let's go ahead and get that off there. You can see. Hit it perfect. And now I'm going to come in with the player here. So again, we did the trapping method on it. So it has a slight overlap to make this part a lot easier for us. So I'm going to rotate it however you want. Now I see that his arm should be going into that T a little bit. So just depending on how you want to do it here. Perfect. That's looking good right there. So you can see none of the shirt, because I used the trapping method, none of the shirts actually showing through on the B or the L right there. Coming over to the G, looks like he swung. The ball's going up there, looks great. Of course, we have some of our black Easy Weed exposed here, so we definitely want to use our protective cover sheet for this part of it. And we're going to go ahead and press here. So for this part of it, we're going to go, 
I don't know, right about six to eight seconds. Shouldn't be too bad with this one. Pull this up. We got our silver lens on. And beautiful, we are good to go. And there is our completed shirt. As you can see, the silver lens, I love the silver lens, looks awesome on this shirt. Doesn't stand out too much, but enough to look, have that cool effect, show the baseball player, and we'll show you a better view of this here in just a second. All right, crew, so here's our finished shirt here. As you can see, again, we're using our fluorescent green badger dry fit shirt here. We got our black easy weed, our silver lens, awesome looking shirt here i'm going to bring this home for jackson get him a picture of this so i can post it show you how great it looks but again everything that we sell on the website it's not just to make women's apparel you have a lot a lot of opportunities because you think about it you get to the husbands you get to the sons you get to the uncles that's going to double your customer base when you're doing things like this so you have the ability to do this already with your vinyl cutter with the heat transfer vinyl not everything has to be rhinestones you can make some awesome shirts like this completely customizable you can put anything you want using corel draw using the trw stone wizard using the magic trap all the different features we provide for you and then of course these great videos that we provide for you to show you exactly how to do this stuff so hope you enjoyed this video if this video helped you out make sure to click the like button right below go ahead and comment let us know what you think of this shirt let us know what you think of the video let us know of different videos that you want that's where we get all of our ideas is to show you different videos show you how to grow your business and show you different tips and tricks that may help you so hopefully you enjoyed this one please like comment below give us some feedback on this if you do have any questions again make sure to give us a call number is 941 755-1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com. You guys have a great day.